Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm now going to be talking about patch notes 9.01. Now this patch is mainly for my console players, fans, lovelies, I don't know what to call you. Uh, but either way this is all for all, all of the console players who are watching this video. So rejoice console players. Uh, but first for all the uh, platforms there has been a weapon update for the outlaw and its skin lines so that it is more apparent when the we when the weapon is ready to be fired. Bug fixes as well which includes a bug where Neon could equip faster out of her slide when intended by manually inputting an equipped action. Gameplay systems fix the bug where the AFK players were able to start the vote for surrender. Fix an issue when exiting Cypher's spy cam that causes a brief stutter uh, for uh, for spectators, fixing an issue with tactical call uh, so callers displaying chat regardless of the option being turned off in settings, and as well that also includes as well with bullet traces appearing for guns picked up regardless if they are turned off, fixing an issue when regarding stage and cloak resurrection so not being visible for spectators and observers, and fix a bug a and fix a performance um, issue caused by orders uh, respawn by spike explosion in custom game modes. Abyss has also got a couple of bug fixes as well, which includes cleaned up a lot of Cypher spy cam spots to prevent visual issues or, or unintended placements, improved wingman spike plant pathing on a site, cleaned up ability and player collusion in, in a variety of spots across the map, fixed the bug where the mini map could be, uh, could be oriented upside down with certain settings active, fixed a visual bug when seen, uh, uh, seen when falling off of map on a site, and fix a bug where, Vi where Viper's pit could spread further into in um, than intended on a site. There's also a known issue as well, which includes basically what happens to a into a party. There's a chance you may see missing string entry table in your chat log. Now for the PC and the bigs one in the PC is now there are now pickems in now in the game basically. So basically pickems beta is coming for Valorant Champions 2024. Starting on July 26th, you have access to the Champions Soul Group Stage Pick'ems, uh, oh, sorry, 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 Stage and Client, and on the web, you'll get predict uh, the advancing teams for points, earning extra points for correctly getting the exact placement. Earn rewards for playing with the best of the best, earning more, uh, earning more exclusive re uh, rewards, and see how you stack up against other experts and creators. Finally, prepare for the for the playoff stage next patch, where you'll find out the full double elimination bracket at once, and obviously look out for more details uh, later this month. This is basically just pickems like in VLR.gg, for example, where obviously they had the pickem thing. So, yeah, it's basically just VLR, but with more stakes, with uh, with um with um rewards and stuff. Bug fixes as well, fix an issue where uh, when involving the ping wheel getting stuck on the interface um, when bound to the Z key. For Premiere, I don't know what iBit is, so I do apologize, but there was an issue with match fixing that prevented matches from being played in the first two weeks of episode 9 Act 1 stage. Contender and invite divisions weren't affected and these, t and these teams successfully played their matches. Issue has been fixed um, and teams should be able now to find matches uh, basically successfully for week 3 and on. Any team that plays a match in the iBit zone in week 6 and before will automatically qualify for playoffs. Teams that have already played a match in, EU, in, in, in another EU zone uh, can still earn the playoff qualification in iBit, uh, but rule requires teams to create a new roster in the iBit zone and play a match. Teams will qualify for playoffs by receiving 600 points uh, before the start of week 7 matches. For example, if your team has 25 points at the end of week 6, then your team will have 625 uh, points before you play your week 7 matches. Alright, console lovelies, let's now get into the console updates. Uh, for general updates, it is now possible to freely rebuy non uh, non ultimate ability button mappings and the and they've also added settings as well for inverting for inverting map cursor controls. Agent update Neon re-equipped the speed change from fast to instant for her slide. There's now a second blast pack now for Ray. Second blast pack's horizontal force has been reduced. ISO's double tap duration has decreased from 20 to 12 seconds, and, and, and as well the signature kill reset has been removed. Mapped updates, which includes Lotus, which has entered the competitive unrated swift play and deathmatch queues. However, talking about Deathmatch, it, uh, Deathmatch is, is experiencing an issue and will be unavailable for, on console until a fix can be shipped. 
Social updates updated the notification indicator on the social card so that it's easier to tell when you have a party invite or, uh, or even when the spe when, even when the social panel is closed. Add a voice indicator to the party tab in the social panel so you can see who is speaking. Add a button as well to leave the party to the My Party section of the party tab in the social panel. Both fixes now, the basically just general traditional preset weapon switching fixes. Fix issue where uh, where unequipping abilities wouldn't respect the auto equip prioritization, so it's strongest to to later setting. Fix an issue where you couldn't switch off from the spike when you had no primary uh, when you had no primary when using the 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 uh, traditional con uh, control preset. Fix an issue where you could sometimes lose visual highlighting on the button you have hover over in the in the front and in the front end menus. And fix an issue that could cause you to be unable to leave the range. Agents, which include Sova, Recon Bolt, fix an issue where uh, where where Recon Bolt did not properly apply aim assist to reveal targets. And Fade her Haunt, fix an issue where Haunt also did not properly uh, uh, apply the aim assist to uh, to reveal targets. Fix an issue as well where aim assist were, were incorrectly being applied when certain abilities were equipped. This includes Phase Nightfall, Chambers Rendezvous, Harbors, Cascade, and, and Cove, Viper's Poison Cloud, Toxin Screen, and Viper's Pit, and Yoru's Fake Out, and, and finally his old Dimensional Drift. Gameplay system, fix an issue where you could be in focus mode while, while inspecting your weapon. Competitive settings, fix an issue where the end of game screens where viewing matches in match history will, will disappear and be, uh, and be basically just can't access them. Social fix, uh, fix a bug where your, where your presents sometimes fail to uh, update after a match. And one known issue, which includes when na when navigating the surrender menu, there's a chance your controls can become locked for an entire round. Due to this, we we have elected to disable the surrender and remake menus until now. We can probably uh, until we can properly fix the issue. Draw will remain functional. So that is really about it for Valorant Patch Notes 9.01. Now, like you know, guys, to like, comment, subscribe, it would really help me, especially on this channel. And yes, this was mainly for console players, so, so all my console viewers enjoy this patch notes. So that's really about it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed the catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye.